talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, peace and blessings, even Wadik. Wadik, everybody. From my east side is that from Long Beach, Long Beach, California. Recognize, recognize. Come to Africa, come to the Gambia, come home, come home, come home. Hey, I just want to say hello to everybody. Thank you so much. Today's the last day of Ramadan. I had uh, went to the masjid and did uh, e prayer today. Alhamdulillah, it was so good. I had a good time. Uh, but I'm so tired. I was in Senegal, having a special guest that came back to to Senegal, from Senegal to me, with me, and uh, you know, uh, fellow YouTuber, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, so I'm, I'm over here taking care of this guest. This guest, if I post this video right now, it it spoiled a surprise. So it's just been a surprise of this guest. This guest gonna uh, post her video first, then I'll be able to post this video. But yeah, so I'm just so happy uh, to be, you know, back in the game. Like I said, I was in Nigeria for over a month. And now I was just in Senegal for a few days. I did uh, the Happy Companion Tours, Discover the Gambia. That's one of my first businesses I have right now. So I have a couple more businesses that's gonna be opening up soon. So I just wanna to touch bases with you on that. If you wanna book a tour with, the, uh, with my tour uh, group, just go ahead and send me an email or go ahead and click the link below. That link below will show you uh, to my website and that website will show you the, the times, the dates, and the prices of uh, the tour. So just check it out. But just much love to everybody for the support. If you want to support to my content, like I said, the THC, I'm moving around town, man. I'm doing it, you know what I'm saying? You guys love my content, so go ahead and support it. You can hit me on Cash App. You can hit me on Patreon. You can hit me on PayPal, you know what I'm saying? And I'm doing what you guys told me to do. You guys kept requesting me. How can I send you this? How can I do this? And, you know, I don't ask for donations. You know, I don't do that kind of stuff unless, you know, you guys are asking me, you know, to send me some things. So I said I'll go ahead and do it. So another thing I can say, the Al Karifi Islamic School, the Al Karifi Quranic Memorization School, okay, it's in Tangi, uh, the Gambia. Hey, those those kids, man, they really appreciate all the donations so so much, and we're looking forward to uh, your visits. There's a few people going to be visiting that school very very soon, and we're looking forward to their visit because you want to see where your money's going. You want to see what you charge your donations. We're transparent. Your donations are going directly to the school, to uh, Director Alua. I'm doing the uh, the promoting with my videos, and so that way you guys can see, you know, in a large uh, audience, what's going on here in the Gambia. We have zakat. The zakat is still valid. You can, as far as for Ramadan, you can still send zakat or sadakat. Sadakat, sadakat, any time you want to send it, you can send it to the school. Like I said, uh, I'm not here playing little silly games. I'm boots, sandals, and barefoot on the ground. Okay, I'm not talking 10,000 miles away, 15, 20, 30,000 miles away, whatever you want to call it. On the couch, or on the saying this was Africa's about. I'm living here. I'm doing what I am in Africa. I'm doing, I'm doing what I said I was going to do before I came here, okay? So I just uh, have a blessed day. Today is a blessed day for me. I just have some good news personal news and my heart is very touched right now because of some news that I have today on the Ramadan day and it's really really making me uh, smile right now and I'm very very happy because I've been thinking about this for a while think doing things you know for my life to make my life better and uh, this is something this Ramadan he has been very blessed for me I can just put it that way so I have more contents gonna come. I know you guys been liking, want to see me do some live streams. 
As a matter of fact, I was going to do a live just now walking around, but the internet's kind of acting kind of wild and, and, and freaky right now. So I may do that a little bit after this video. We'll see. But like I said, I got, uh, I do have a, a camera person employed. I'll be working on another camera person that's going to be employed. Uh, not actually the person holding the camera right now. That's nothing to do with that. It's something totally separate. But uh, because I'm going to be uh, extend, expanding my, my TV channel. The, the, the Happy Companion African Repat TV. It's going to be more involved. It's going to it's going to be evolved. It's going to expand, and hopefully it hits other countries. I'm going to be going to other countries in, in the continent very very soon within this year. Maybe get three or four if I can. So I put everything that I do. I put my attention to the Most High Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and that's what keeps me me grounded and keep me humble in this world where we can get a big head. We can get arrogant. Okay, so. Subscribe, subscribe to my Islamic Thought Show, the Happy Companion Islamic Thought Show too. If you're a Muslim or non-Muslim, you don't have to be a Muslim to subscribe to that channel. This channel is growing rapidly. I appreciate it, but we're going to start doing more on that channel, okay? And I just said, man, 30 days, this Ramadan, I did 30 days in Africa in Ramadan, alhamdulillah. Actually, I, was, I did Ramadan before for 30 days, for five years, actually, when I was in Oman. So I did it every year for five years. I was doing Ramadan. I was doing, you know, fasting. I was doing that kind of those because that's East East Africa as far as I'm concerned. But comment below, you know, drama free 2021. Thank you all for not putting my name in those in the issues that's been going on. I've been seeing around the uh, YouTube world. You know, what I'm saying I got nothing to do with all that stuff. As far as uh, people, if you don't like certain people on my channel that go to their channel and put your disgust or who you don't like don't put something on my channel if you don't like someone okay i'm gonna have i'm gonna have some more videos about that kind of stuff okay let's be a grown adults let's be you know adults let's respect each other okay don't be venting on my platform on my platform i'm not i'm not down for that i'm not here for that but i love y'all I love your support. I love that what you've been doing for me as far as uh, inspiring me to do what I'm doing. Like I said, I put my information down there. I'm transparent. And the things that I'm doing right now is gonna be the content. If you donate anything, it's gonna go to the content. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm doing well in Africa. I'm living well, I'm happy. But right now, this Eid has been, made me very, very, very happy right now. And I appreciate everything. So thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Let me tell you something, everything's good. I'm living in Africa. I'm not playing little silly games, all right? I'm done with my melanated people and non-melanated people. I'm not, somebody called me a closet racist. I'm not a closet racist, man. Like I said, my people have been oppressed in this world. And so it's nothing wrong with talking about the issues that have been going on with my community, with people of my ethnicity and things like that. I'm a brother who's, who's returned home to the continent. My ancestors prayed for me to come home, and this brother has made it home. Despite all the obstacles, you know, I grew up from east side Long Beach, you know what I'm saying? Long Beach Poly class of 88 Jack Rabbit. you know, it's so hard to be a rabbit. You know, I went to high school with Snoop Dogg, all those guys. I know, I mean, it's so, so many things that I can say is that I grew up in a, in a tough environment, you know. However, I made it out of it, I survived. I went to the military, I did all these kind of things, you know, got edu educated, educated, what you wanna say. What I'm trying to say is that I come from humble beginnings, I'm still a humble brother, I'm still doing it. I'm out here grinding, man. I'm out here trying to represent. I'm trying to show you the truth through my lenses because other people keep showing the falseness, uh, incorrect st status about the continent, okay? Now I'm seeing, when I'm walking in these streets, in, these, uh, for, in the Gambia, and in Africa, I'm showing you the truth of how it is as you see it at that time, okay? You can't determine what uh, a countries or people are about by a 10 minute video, okay? I understand that, that's not my uh, intentions, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that this is what Africa is all about just because you see 10 minutes of this video. But I'm trying to say this is the best representation that I can give you, all right? A lot of us are making this exodus back to the motherland. A lot of you have been called back. The people saying they've been called back. Whatever it's a prayer, whatever you believe in, okay, that's a calling that a lot of people have been receiving. And I'm saying I'm not even talking about religious wise. 
calling could be anything, prayer call, whatever. Somebody, you know, it could be anything that's bringing you back. You're watching this channel right now, and you're watching the TAC right now. Why? You're watching this channel for a reason, because you gain knowledge of, of what's going on. You gain knowledge yourself, okay? You need to know who you are. You need to know where you come from. You need to regain your languages. You need to regain your religions, okay? Your cultures, things that were taken away from you, okay? And it's easy, there's certain things, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about repatriation, okay? This my this channel, what I'm talking about right now is, is, is a way above religion, okay? We all came through the same struggles in this world, and we all trying to get back to uh, our reality of what we come from. The reality is, is that our ancestors weren't slaves, okay? All right? The answer, I see people right here that are part of my ancestry, meaning that my ancestors didn't start as slaves. If you're African-American, African diaspora, we did not start as slaves. No, we did not. We started on the continent as free people, all right? And then we're coming back as free people. And so you're coming back to help you build and to uh, establish communities and to, and, to, and to integrate with the community. And that's the best way to do it. We're not a colonizing force. We're not gonna be a Tubab, whatever you wanna call it, and come in here and colonize and things. We're not on that level. I'm not on that level. Men, come here with respect to the queens here. Women, come here to respect the kings as well and the queens and, and vice versa. The brothers, respect the kings too. I mean, everybody needs to be coming here and showing respect when you come here and learning, okay? So I've seen a lot of drama that's been going on on the channels. A lot of these riffing and raffing, continental Africans, African diasporas, and balloting and all that stuff. It's okay to have a, a, a state of channel of a question. Hey, is this, uh, should this happen or should this happen? But when you make, if this happened, if this happened, you know, whatnot. But if you make a statement saying Africans don't like diasporans or diasporans don't like Africans, okay, those are trigger words and those are words that's gonna cause problems and it's caused division. But if you ask it in a question type of way, it's a little better. So I'm gonna say it once again. You know, I kind of like, hey, I have some more things to say. That's why I stopped the tape. I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and stop it again. Let me go ahead and restart it. I stopped it, restart it again. So let me tell you something. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. And you know what I'm talking about, huh? I don't even have to say nothing. And peace and blessings. Thank you so much for watching the THC, man. Much love to you. Give me, keep me in prayers, whatever, however you pray. Thank you so much, man. Love you. Well, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah.